So I had a recent question from a viewer who is finding it tough to learn UI UX design with university. So build the mindset to become a designer athlete. This is going to be a time when you're going to have to do things that other people don't think are right, but they're going to be right for you. You got to do what you got to do. All your strength, all your power, all your love, everything you've got, you know what to do. Do it. So I've been doing this for 10 years and there's nothing special about me. But what I do love is computers and design. And it's the passion that is gonna carry you through the hard times. But you do need a system to help you achieve your goals. Practice every day like an athlete. If studies is tough, where do you start? Design something fun or something that gets you excited. You need to have a balance between tough and fun. How much time can you commit? So don't put too much pressure on yourself, but I would recommend something around 20 to 30 minutes a day. If you're serious about a career in UI, UX design, focus on your priorities, things like university, family. So things like Netflix, Disney, entertainment, social media, you really have to reduce these distractions so you can make time to focus on UI UX design. We are going to carry on from the last video so if you missed that video please check the link. We're going to create a landing page and this is going to be based on something that you like unite.com and we've been doing some e-commerce design just create a snapshot so oh, let me just close that so you can go to this here, it's called Go Full Page on Chrome. This is an extension and this will capture the whole screen. Okay, so you just download the full image. And then we go over to Apple and I'm going to very quickly start creating a full page capture. Okay, so we're back in Figma. I'm just gonna go to page. I'm gonna create a new page called Inspo. So I'm gonna go to my downloads folder and I'm just gonna drag in both of these screen captures. So minus key to zoom out. So if you, we were to just quickly look at these where they're very, very clean and they're very neutral. So when I'm in neutral, the main colors in the UI is black, white, grays. And then in terms of the content, as in the imagery, they are full of color and that's what they want to stand out. They want the products to stand out. So this is a very good idea that when you're learning UI UX design or you're learning to improve your visual skills, you can check out some of the best designs out there. You're going to replicate this design. So you can choose what you're trying to replicate, but I'm going to go with Apple. So what I'm going to do is go back to page one and the main component that we are going to use is the card component. So I'm just going to copy and we go to inspo. I'm going to paste that I'm just getting the instance of that card and I'm going to reuse this I'm actually going to create a component for this because we're going to use a lot of different images if I hit the F key and click I'm going to make a frame of 600 by 600 we're just going to label this Apple images so I'm going to go here and I'm gonna choose some background images. And what I have on my desktop, I have two folders, which is Apple and Nike. But here I'm gonna to go to watch because I'm basic the design on Apple watches or smart watches. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of these. So here I would command D and then I would just choose a different image.
Okay, so with this one, we are going to create another component. So I'm going to break out this command or K. So I'm going to call this card demo. So command or K. And now I'm just going to copy that image and I'm going to paste that inside and just hit the up key and I'm going to delete this one. So if I go into Apple Images, I actually want that to fill. And let's say fill as well. Okay, so now if we were to change that, you can see it's filling and it is nice and fluid. Okay, so let's just bring this over and let's see how we can replicate this. So I'm going to Command D, let's bring that over. And if you've noticed that the text is always at the top, so I'm just going to change this. I'm going to go up and I'm going to start center aligning stuff so what we can do is just make some slight changes so i'm going to go here and can we make this in the middle and then this one i actually want the default version and we actually want two of these so i'm going to command d now i'm going to select both of these and then put this into an auto layout so shift a and we want this to be horizontal and we want that to fill container. So if I hit enter again to select two of these, I want to fill container. And then each button, we actually want them to not fill. We actually want it to hug. And then here, we actually want that to be in the center. Next thing to do is let's try and recreate this. So here I'm actually going to use a fixed width of 1680 so we're going we're kind of guessing what the fixed width is and now we're just going to create a bit more space so I'm going to use this to create a bit of space between the items so I'm going to say 40 I'm going to go into this I'm going to say 40 and then these two let's say about 20 actually if we bring these Let's bring those to 20 so they're quite even. Okay, just create the next one. So I'm going to Command D again. And then I'm going to select these two and then Shift and A. So remember, try and think of these as divs. So I'm just going to label this as a div for now. And then the spacing between these two, let's say 40. Okay, so we're just going to choose another image. So here I'm just going to see what image can we choose. So let's say we go with a dark version. OK, so here I'm just going to select that card and I actually want the fill to be black. And then let's have a think. So the actual text, if I go here inside, I want that. If you go to selection colors, I want that to be white. And then these two. If we hit enter, I actually want these to be dark as well. Great. So now what you've noticed now is by looking at comparing it to this, there's spacing here. OK, so this is the great thing about auto layout. So I'm going to go to my main component. I'm going to say on the top, I want there to be a spacing of 40. So you can see now that it's produced that nice spacing. I'm going to Command D twice and then select these two and then Shift A again. So another auto layout. But this time we want it to be horizontal. And I want that to fill container. If I enter again, I want two of the children to fill container. So we did that pretty simply. So if I was just to test this, you could see it's not fluid, only these two. So I need to select this and this. We need that to, to fill container. So now we can see this should hopefully be nice and fluid. So we go back to 1680. I could quickly replicate that. I could just have Command D. So there we go. And let's just choose a different image for this one. So. Let's say a product shot. 
So something like that. But we actually want these to be a bit taller. So if I were just to make that taller, so let's say around 900. Okay, this one as well, we want that card to also be taller. There we go, 872. And then here we just want to change these images. So I just click into here and let's find a dark image. And then this one, we're going to find something a bit different. So let's have a see what there is. Okay, so something like that is fine. But this, I actually want that to be white. And if I go in, I actually want that to be dark. And then this, these buttons hit enter. I want those to be default. So I'm going to command D, the top one. And let's bring this down by just hitting the down arrow. Okay, so this is going to work out a bit different to the others. So I'm going to command D, let's say, or let's actually think of a width. So I'm going to go with a width of fixed. I'm going to say 10, 24. Okay. And we're not going to copy exactly this because they have the buttons inside. We're just going to keep using this. Now I'm going to command D another two times. One, two. I'm going to select them three. Put those into an auto layout. And we want those to be horizontal. Okay. So you can see now it's nice and horizontal. And we don't have to copy exactly what they've done. And we can clip content. So you can now see that it kind of horizontally scrolls. But let's say we want to do exactly like that. What we can do is go here and we can just have a think about this. So we actually want to put this into another auto layout. So shift A. Let's get rid of all these spacings here. And we also go to this one. OK, so what we actually want to do with this one is make this absolute. So you just click on absolute position. Can we center a line? No, we can't. So what we want to do now is just hold shift and just drag it to the center. And there's probably another way of doing this. So command Z. If I go here, I'm actually going to make this width fixed and let's say 1680. So now just put this in the center, which is pretty cool. And then here we just want to make these a bit faded as it is here so let's say about 20 so 20 is nice and faded and let's just change this image to something else so there we go now one advanced thing to share with you is the new properties what you can do is you can go here and we can go into this text okay and you can go to this here, so content and headphones. So you can go here and we want to just say title. And then we want to go to this one. And we also want to create a content and this is going to just be text. OK, and then same for the add to cart. So we want to actually make that into a um, text layer. So I'm actually going to go to the main component and I want to make that text and that's the same text as well because that means we can change the text values. So let's have a see if this actually works. So if I go in and I want to change this to learn more. You can see it's now adjusted it there and you can see it's also adjusted it for this one, but not for this one for some reason, but for the rest it has, but for the dark versions it hasn't. So what that means is let's see if we go to here and we can then say buy. OK, so you've got learn more by. So the dark ones, for some reason, they are not changing. So 
and it's something thing. We go back, and maybe because they need to have their own, their own name. So if I go here and I go text two and then create property. So back to inspo. And let's go here. Okay, so let's have a think why. And probably the reason why is because these are still, let's have a think why would they, here we go. So text two, and here we can change it. So learn more. And then buy. Okay, so it's the same for these as well. We can select actually the card and here we can then say we can change the title. So we just say watch and you can change the price. Okay, so that is the nice thing about having these text properties that you can make these text changes without going into the card. However, these buttons, now I'm still learning myself. So these buttons, we cannot change these directly. I'm sure there is a way, um, but we'll think about that another time. But here we can then start changing the text. So learn more and then buy. And you can see just by practicing a bit, we can learn the layout. We can just replicate stuff. If you've lasted to the end of this video, this is going to be a bonus challenge. So I'm going to command D that. So let's say that you are a fan of Nike. So what we can do is we can duplicate this. Just bring that over. We're going to command Alt and B to break out. We are going to call this Nike. And then command Alt and K. And we want to change these images. So I'm going to choose image. I'm going to go to my Nike folder. And now we can just find a bunch of random images that I got on Unsplash and Pixels. Go to this, we can actually swap the component. So I want the Nike images. Okay, so let's just do the same for these where we're changing them to the Nike images. And sometimes for some reason, it doesn't change. So we can go here and we can say reset fill. So this is where the fun begins. We just want to change the images. So let's just see what is potentially going to be our main hero. So that is a really nice close up shot. So this one is a lot of color. So I think that is pretty cool. And then we try this one. So we can choose the trainer image and I'm just going to make this height a bit more generous. And then this one here, let's see what else we have. So I think that close up is really, really nice. And then let's just change some of these. So I want to make these taller. So we can see we got the Nike there. And then this one, we're going to make that same height, 10, 8, 8. And then we're going to, maybe we leave it like that, but let's see what else they have. So that one's pretty nice. Oh yes, that is a really nice image for the hero. So I'll choose that. I think the hero one would be this one. That is a really nice image. However, we need to make this a bit taller. So you can see we've got the Nike down here. Okay. And then the last one is, let's change this one. Okay, so what we've done, we changed the imagery 
and we've got a Nike version in an Apple style layout. So maybe for your homework, if you really wanted to, you can then start creating this layout and then swapping the images with Apple products. So let me know in the comments what you think about this video. How do we then make this a step further and make it more unique and change it up? So hopefully you found this content useful. Please leave a like, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.